Presidente Francesco Faraccio Reuters, um, faccio domande in italiano visto che. Can I ask you a question in Italian? Uh, no, mi chiedo in caso uh, la Gran Bretagna If, um, uh, dovesse partecipare alle elezioni. If UK were to take um, part in the elections. I parlamentari britannici uh, saranno in grado di would, poter votare um, per uh, British MEPs be uh, able to vote on the new commission? And if there were a change, a uh, shift in the political balance within the parliament, would the commission have to receive uh, new support from the new parliament? Or would it be possible for the term of the current commission to be extended? Well, this is why I was saying we have to be extremely careful here. We mustn't play around with the institutions. We mustn't undermine uh, democracy. So everything needs to be done very carefully with, gr with great serenity. What we need is clarity from the UK and from the council. So every agreement has to be clear and very precise. And it must avoid a sort of European uh, puppet show theater. We will have to see what, what comes out at the end, but there has to be a clear um, framework, a clear commitment from the UK with a majority in uh, British Parliament in favor of that. We can't accept a flight f forward and then a sudden retreat. I will fight to defend the dignity of the institution I represent because we are the only um, elected institution, so I have to defend it. Thanks, Adam Fleming from the BBC. Um, you talked about a transition formula. Um, could you just talk us through what the elements of that transition formula might be and what it could actually look like if, say, there was an extension till the end of December or until the end of March 2020? Well, we need to know what uh, uh, Theresa May wants, what she's going to say on behalf of the British government and British Parliament. Uh, that, that's essential. We need to know what the British want to do. Do they want more time to take to decide in, in London? Do they want a referendum? Do they want an early election? Do they want to uh, uh, revoke Article 50? It's up to the British people and the British government to decide what they want. Uh, we have never said that they should leave. We're not applying pressure on them to leave. Uh, you know, this is the free choice of a democratic country. But w there are 27 other member states. There's the Parliament. There's the European Commission. We all want to know what the British have in mind. And then after that, we need to come up with uh, clear answers uh, uh, as to how to proceed, uh, what should be done in Parliament, what would any elected MEPs do, how long would their mandate last, um, uh, we need to clarify things first. We need to know uh, what the UK wants to do, when it wants to leave, if it wants to leave. So we're always open to discuss this. I mean, if there is to be an extension, it's not really a matter of how long that should be. It's what's the purpose? What's the point of the extension? Um, uh, I will fight anything that uh, undermines the image of the parliament. Caroline Beisel for Süddeutsche Zeitung. A longer extension, like you said, would bring a lot of uncertainty maybe to the European Parliament. Do you feel the European Council uh, shows the necessary respect for um, the parliament as an institution and does it do enough to protect its ability to function in the future? Thanks. Well, I repeat, it's all a question of seriousness. It's not a question of time. It is enough to know what the British intend to do and what the Council intends to do. When there is seriousness and clarity without further changes hanging over us, then we can 
uh, regulate the activities of the Parliament, which I have to defend. But I think the member states also uh, wish to defend the dignity and the integrity of the Parliament. All things are possible except those which are not serious. They are not acceptable. The uh, Parliament is not a Punch and Judy show. Thank you very much.